What is up, guys? I'm coming at you with a series that a lot of people probably wouldn't do because it's definitely not the best thing to talk about. I'm not sure I understand. Okay. Yesterday, I was diagnosed with anxiety and depression. I don't know what I could be depressed about, and I haven't figured out what my anxiety triggers are. I started to notice that it's me being more in public, like that's when I really start to feel physical symptoms. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. So I was diagnosed with that yesterday, and I got a lot of people <laughs> replying to my stories yesterday when I told you guys over Instagram saying that they deal with the same exact things and they're so happy that I came out about this because it just makes you feel like other people are you know going through it too and that it makes you feel like you're normal so that's why I wanted to do something like this um, it's definitely not common for someone to do this and it's really not common for people to even talk about their anxiety or depression and I, I hate to even say depression because it just sounds so so deep and dark and so serious like guys I'm I love my life and sometimes you don't know what you're depressed about it's just chemical imbalances in your brain that are just making you sad for no reason I just want to talk about what this series is going to really be and what I've been going through the past week or so that really made me be like I need to go talk to my doctor this series I'm really just gonna show you guys my transformation I was prescribed Zoloft yesterday Zoloft Zoloft whatever it is yesterday it's an anxiety and depression medication um, a lot of people in my life are on it so I thought maybe it isn't that bad. I really didn't want to turn to medication, but guys, like, I've tried so many natural remedies, like CBD, I've tried meditation. I don't know how to fucking meditate, okay? Like, I try so hard, but being an entrepreneur, like, you have so much shit going on 24-7. I have about 30 online clients, so I'm always thinking about, are they following, like, just... My brain doesn't shut the fuck up. So meditating is not really a thing for me. Um, I'm really starting to try a lot more. I've been going to a pond near my house and just sitting over there, relaxing, not bringing my phone, but still, like, you know what I'm talking about if you have a racing mind just like me. It's hard to turn it off. What was I talking about? Oh, natural remedies, not a thing for me. I. I tried them and it just got worse and worse. I take CBD to go to bed. I tried taking the CBD during the day. It just makes me tired. So I was like, okay, I cannot even get up in the morning anymore. I couldn't even do things like this and I couldn't even get on my Instagram and talk on my story. And unfortunately, a lot of that has to do with my body dysmorphia right now. Me being an off season, I'm gaining a little bit more weight as you can kind of see. Um, I'm not as lean string bean as I used to be, so it's a little bit of a mind fuck. And um, but my body dysmorphia makes me not want to get onto camera like this, and that gives me anxiety. So that could be one of my triggers. I think I just figured it out. Um, well, figured one aspect out, but. Yeah, I wanted to come on here and just show you my journey throughout taking this Zoloft and seeing if it helps because I've had a few people say, please keep me updated. I had a couple say that Zoloft works for them like it's magical and I've had a couple people say that they took it and now they're off it because of bad reasons. So I just want to document how this process is going to go. So. I don't know just to I guess give an insight on something like this and I think it would be interesting I take my Zoloft today and I feel a little bit better I feel more calm I guess it's only 11 and I woke up at 10 so I've only had it in me for about an hour but I do feel a lot more calm and I feel like I can get things done in opposed to like yesterday or a week ago I wouldn't I probably would still be in bed 
to be honest. Um, there has been some check-ins. Morgan has texted me and been like, yo, are you checking in? And it's like 12 o'clock in the afternoon and I'm like, hey, I'm just getting out of bed. Um, that Like, that's how bad it was. I did not want to get out of bed. So, this is like really good for me. I am recording right now. That's another plus. Um, and I'm about to go on a walk. We'll grab my coffee and then go on a walk. I've been doing that, so it's really helping um, me just get some mental clarity. Now that I'm on Zoloft, I'm hoping that this is going to help me. Um, and I'm really excited to see where it takes me. There's been some horror stories, there has been some good stories, some bad stories, but I'm going into this with a positive mind. And I guess, I don't know what's gonna happen, but we are gonna document this, and I'm thinking about doing maybe a one week update every single week. I always say this shit and then I never update you guys. But hopefully now that I'm taking this medication and I'm happier, maybe I'll want to record. So, on that note, thanks for listening to my TED talk. Um, <laughs> there's gonna be another one next week, God willing. So I will talk to you guys on the next series episode of my anxiety and depression. <laughs>